Hi, thanks for coming out to our podcast channel. This is Charlie Peterson, Account Executive with Brightstar Partners, and today we're going to be taking a look at URL integration in Cognos. Here we see an instance of Cognos connection, and I'm going to drill down into the AD folder and view the permissions of the Add Color Report. Up here, what we see, we can view the search path ID and URL of this object. And once we click on that, we find the search path up top and then the URL on the bottom. And we're going to go ahead and copy this, close this out, open up Notepad, paste this in, and we're going to parse this out a bit. From here, we can see some very useful bits of information about this object. Here's a server that we're speaking to. We're asking it to open up Cognos Viewer so that we can view this object uh, and its default output. And what we're looking for is in the public folders, a folder whose name is AD. And we're going to look for a report whose name is the add color report. Output format is going to be HTML. If we put this back in its original form and we copy this and we just put it up in our browser we can run the report just by pasting that URL information up here into the address bar. Moving on from here, we're going to work with a little bit of redirection using the Cognos URL. Previously, we were working with the Add Color Report. If we come down here below, we're going to view the properties of the Create a List Report and view the search path ID and URL. Previously, we were working with the URL of the Add Color Report with the create a list, we're just going to grab the search path. We'll bring this out to Notepad and paste this in. And up top, this is the URL we were working with previously for the add color report. And we're simply just going to parse this out just like we had done before. From here, there are two actions we need to make to redirect this URL from one report to the other. The first is going to be here in the UI.object. We see that we're going to the default output. But here in the parentheses is where we're going to paste our new search path. So we'll simply copy that and paste this inside these parentheses here. And then down here at under UI.name, we're going to do the same thing. From there, we'll just put this all back on one line and take it out to Cognos and run it. And we see just with a little bit of easy redirection, we are now looking at the create a list report and that the name up top reflects that. So we're running different Cognos objects using the URL. We're also manipulating the Cognos URL to point uh, and show different Cognos objects. At this point, we're going to open up the Cognos SDK guide. And some of you are probably very familiar with this. If you're not, that's perfectly fine. Um, for pros and rookies alike, there are just some things in here I wanted to point out uh, that may be beneficial for any number of use, use cases that you see fit all pertaining to Cognos URL integration. Under part two, uh, in chapter 17, there is a segment on starting Cognos 8 components. Specifically, we're going to look at starting Report Studio, and they give you some, some URLs preset in here that you can copy and, and manipulate to represent uh, either your local environment or whatever environment you're working off of, and then how to point it to a certain uh, package that you'll be working off of once in the studio. We'll copy this URL for starting Report Studio and take it out to Notepad to make some changes. First, we'll want to parse this out line by line just as we had done before. And from here, we need to make some changes that are specific to our environment. So here, this gateway that Cognos pre-populated for us is not going to be representative of the, of the environment I'm currently working off of. So I pasted it in here moments ago, uh, the information for the environment that I'm working off of. So I'm just going to paste that in. And same thing under, under UI.Gateway. One final thing, under UI.Object equals slash content, uh, that's what's pre-populated in the Cognos SDK guide. Uh, the problem with this is to open a Cognos Studio, uh, it also requires you to specify what package you're going to be working against. So I've written out some uh, search paths down here below where we have slash content. They were working off of public folders and a package whose name equals Go Sales and Retailer. So we'll simply copy and paste that in. And we'll make this one line again. And go out to Cognos and run it. What we should see 
is that this opens up report studio. It prompts us to either create a new report or opening an existing one. And then we will also see that it has pre-populated our, our specification that we're working off of the Go Sales and Retailers package, which we see right here. Still out in the Cognos SDK guide, we just took a look at starting Report Studio using URL integration. And those same rules are going to apply for the other various Cognos Studios. Starting Cognos Viewer is something that we already took a look at earlier in the podcast, so you may want to do some additional reading uh, in here as well. Accessing a Cognos Connection page, there are definitely some interesting bits of information here as well, some regarding style sheets. So uh, here in this section, identifying the .css file that overrides the default Cognos 8 style. Um, so if you have something like a My Company page and you wanted to integrate this in, that can be very uh, useful to your organization perhaps. Something I did earlier before recording this podcast, uh, just reading through here, was I took a look at this UI equals H1 feature uh, that you can integrate into your Cognos URL and what this does is it hides some of your Cognos user interface elements. Uh, the example it gives is when a Cognos connection page appears as a portion of another web page, some of its user interface elements, uh, links, toolbars, etc. may be redundant. Uh, you can hide those elements. So why don't we do a, a quick use case with this. I'll just copy this out uh, to Notepad. We'll go out to Cognos and just scroll down to the folder level uh, somewhere we'll use this additional report sample folder. So we'll drill in and grab this URL. We'll copy that and put it in here. And we're just going to cut this UI equals H1. Bring it to the end of this string. And we'll just add in an ampersand sign. And before going out to that page in Cognos, why don't we just see what it looks like before we implement this? So the additional report samples folder, we drill in and we have two reports, two list reports it looks like. And th this looks pretty standard. So once we paste this in and run that, uh, well, we see that this launch bar uh, is now hidden. So this can be useful to your organization, especially perhaps if you have a single sign-on system in place and it, maybe you just wanted to email uh, this URL out to a, a few colleagues who are perhaps not Cognos users. Could be a use case there for your organization as well. Building on this idea, there are some things that the Cognos SDK guide does not address that we wanted to point out for your benefit today as well. Back out in Notepad, we have the URL for the Create a List Report already parsed out for us. And there are three additional lines that I wanted to tag on to the end of this to give us some additional functionality. First, run.prompt equals true. We're asking that if it finds a prompt to make sure that we address it. Secondly, cv.header equals false. We're asking it to remove the header from the report. And lastly, we're doing the same thing with the toolbar as well. I'm simply going to add these on to the end of this URL. And one final thing I'll point out is that we, we currently have the ui.format set to HTML. It certainly doesn't have to be. You can change this to PDF, Excel, etc., and run it to the different uh, output formats. We'll go and create this as uh, one line and copy this, and we'll go back out to Cognos. Prior to putting that in the address bar and running it, I want us to go out to the Create a List report so that we can see how it exists today. We see that we still have the launch bar. We still have our Cognos buttons in place. If I paste this new URL in the address bar, we see that the header, the launch bar, everything is now gone and all we're looking at is the data within the report. This can be very useful if you wanted to integrate this into a third-party portal such as SharePoint or any homegrown portal that you have in place already within your organization. You'll notice as we've been going through the Cognos SDK guide today that most everything we've been doing is really not that technical, uh, fairly simple in nature. Uh, we started out in the SDK guide taking a look at starting a report studio using the Cognos URL and pointing it to a specific package to work off of. Something we did not do is uh, dive into how to edit that report working off a package. Very simple to do. And that URL is found right here, page 1433 
chapter 17 uh, that we've been working on. Another area was accessing uh, Cognos Connection page and the different bits of information and uh, features that you can do in there for different purposes and use cases within your organization. Out at our product website at bspsoftware.com, you'll find a wealth of information on areas such as our BSP Software Solutions Portfolio, products such as Meta Manager, the Integrated Control Suite for Version Control, Change Management, Archive Servicing, as well as the BSP Recycle Bin, the low-cost solution for recovering deleted Cognos objects. You'll gain insight into our services organization, offering a full consulting practice around Cognos BI, planning, TM1, and Cognos Express. You can learn more about Cognos.com. This is something that we own and operate and give back to the Cognos community. It is a fully free, uh, complimentary site, peer-to-peer -peer collaborative questions and, and answers around all things Cognos related. And then, of course, our podcast channel as well. And don't forget that we are a uh, certified IBM Cognos reseller, top 10 reseller in the U.S. I am Charlie Peterson, account executive with BSB Software. And on behalf of all of us at Brightstar Partners and BSB Software, thank you for watching.